History was made tonight at Fred C. Yeager Stadium in Oxford, Ohio. Unfortunately for Frank Solich and the Ohio Bobcats, they were on the wrong side of it. For the first time in seven years, the Miami Redhawks defeated the Ohio Bobcats in the latest edition of the Battle of the Bricks, 23 to 20. Your final score, Ohio was knocking on Miami's door late in the game. And with nine seconds remaining, the Ohio ball on the Redhawks' seven yard line, Tyler Tettleton took a sack. No timeouts remaining for the Bobcats. Ball game over. Ohio suffers its first loss of the season. Miami very much controlled the pace of the game early on on their first drive despite coming into the game ranking 119th in the nation in rushing yards per game. The Redhawks did not hesitate to hand the ball off to Jameer Westbrook, a true freshman. He did very well and Zach Dysart, of course, the Bobcats knew he would pose the major threat for them. The two of them combined to lead the Redhawks down the field and Miami settled for a field goal on the first drive of the game, 14 plays for 50 yards. After an Ohio three and out, the Red Hawks were back at it. Zach Dysart finds Nick Harwell, 54 yards to play dirt. And just like that, still in the first quarter, the Red Hawks led 10 to nothing. Another Caleb Patterson field goal, this time from 32 yards out, gave Miami a 13 nothing lead with 255 remaining in the first. But then the Bobcats would finally wake up from their offensive slumber. Bo Blankenship punched a touchdown in from five yards out to close Miami's lead to seven, 13 to seven in favor of the red and white. But Miami would bump its lead back up to 13 on its first possession of the second quarter. Zach Geisert found the one, Scott on a 38 yard pass down to the one. Two plays later, Jameer Westbrook punched in the one yard touchdown. Red Hawks led 20 to seven. But then the junior captain, Tyler Tettleton, number four, Help the Bobcats start to get the ball rolling. He makes an acrobatic leap into the end zone from three yards out. A Matt Weller extra point gives the Cats 14 points. And that 20 to 14 lead would remain going into halftime in favor of the Red Hawks, much in part to a Nate Carpenter interception as Miami was knocking on the door in Ohio's red zone towards the end of the second quarter. Miami leads going into the half. But the Bobcats pull within three on their first drive of the third quarter. Seven plays for 41 yards, culminating in a Matt Weller 45 yard field goal. A clutch kick from the Twinsburg, Ohio native makes the score Red Hawks 20, Bobcats 17. And that score would remain heading into the fourth quarter. However, the Bobcats would finally tie things up for the first time in the ball game. Guess who? It's number 49, Matt Weller, yet again, this time from 38 yards out. The kick is good and we have a brand new ball game from Jaeger Stadium. But on the ensuing drive, this time another running back for the red and white would help create points. Sophomore Spencer Treadwell broke open a huge 30 yard run down to the Ohio 18, and that would eventually lead to the third field goal of the day for true freshman Caleb Patterson, giving Miami a 23 to 20 lead. With just 124 remaining in the ball game, it was crunch time for Tyler Tettleton and the Bobcats. And my goodness, it certainly seemed like number four was on his way to leading the Cats to at least a shot at overtime. He found Landon Smith, a beautiful grab by Smith, 28 yards over the middle. And then on third and one at the Miami 15, Tyler Tettleton rushed right for eight yards down to the Miami seven. But Ohio's next play would be their last. Nine seconds remaining, no timeouts for the Bobcats. Frank Solich and company decide to go for it. Tettleton scrambles and he is brought down by defensive end Wes Williams of the Red Hawks. And that would be the ball game. No timeouts left for Ohio. He was sacked with about four seconds left on the clock. Not enough time to line up and spike the ball. And Miami, the Miami faithful storm the field. An unbelievable upset for the Red Hawks as they erase six consecutive years of losing to Ohio. Here's what Tettleton had to say about that final play after the ball game. I don't know, I was just trying to make a play. Just everything broke down, just trying to make a play, so. Were, were you conscious of the fact there was no timeouts left and if your first three wasn't no, there I just, I just totally forgot. Just totally forgot, so that's my fault. How does this feel? Uh, it sucks, but, um, you know, it's not the end. We still have a chance to, to get back to Detroit, and, you know, that's, uh, that's been our thing, unfinished business, so it's not over. Some final statistics to run through. Tyler Tettleton finished the night 23 for 38 for 302 yards. Running backs Ryan Boykin and Bo Blankenship both rushed for 74 yards on the ground. Blankenship with that five yard rushing touchdown. 
and leading the way for the receivers was Landon Smith with three big receptions for 62 yards. Reporting from Jaeger Stadium in Oxford, Ohio, I'm Pat Chiesa. This is the Bobcat Sports Showcase.